Interesting. I just want to say something very strange. Uh, no, I'm not going to say something very strange. I'm going to say something that is very strange to me uh, that I find fascinating about the world of indie horror games. So there's this game called Contempt that is currently sitting at the top of the most popular horror games. Now, the funny thing about Contempt, no t, not Contempt, Contempt, is that this game came out five years ago. But for some reason, it's blowing up right now, which I think is cool. There's nothing wrong with that. It's kind of the weird cyclical thing about indie horror games. Is that because sometimes they are very indie horror, not a lot of people find out about them. And then someone will come along and find it and it'll catch on for whatever reason. And then they'll play it and then it will be popular again. And I think that's very cool because it is unique to horror games. Anyway, I actually was queuing up to play that one, but I, I was like, man, this seems familiar. And you know, this screen here was like, oh yeah, I've played this before. And no, I'm not gonna play it again because I almost feel like I've gone through this game. This might be the third time that I've come across this game and been like, have I played this before? And then I played the same game again. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna play a game called The Elevator, which I believe is made by 616 Games. You're not, you're not puppet combo. You're different. Okay. Either way, I am down for all of these very, very, very retro scary games. I think that they're fun. I think that they're dope as hell. So let's go to it. New game, are you sure? Yes. This is the elevator. The elevator is not working. Classic. Oh, classic. Oh, ooh, ooh. I love that. <laughs> the music I'm talking about. Not, not the lobby. I'm not a lobby enthusiast. I'm not like, ooh, is that a classic 82 uh, Midwestern lobby lobby? I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm not like that. Okay. Fun. Whoa. What? Okay. Sit. Tab to cursor up. Get up. Get up. I'm I got up. Okay. Hosts. Okay. Hosts. Good. Good. Great. Great. Okay. Wow, I really slammed on that bell. Okay, so I'm assuming that I'm working the front counter. Okay. This elevator is kind of weird. All right. Guess that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> oh, oh my god, hi. Welcome. Hello, how are you? Welcome to the hotel. How can I help you, sir? Welcome to the 82 Luby Lobby. How you doing? Jack Septic Eye? Oh. Jesus. Good evening, sir. I'm s sorry. Good evening, sir. <laughs> I'm staying in room 105. My name is Kareem Musa. Just a second, sir. I'll check. Baba booey, baba booey. Da -da -da. Ah, Kareem Musa. Got it. All right. You can go up. Thank you. <laughs> to you, too. Have a good night. Really appreciate your business. Love your videos. 
Oh my god, hello. What the hell? What was that? Hello? Who is there? Shit, the elevator's driving me crazy! Okay. I feel like this isn't how elevators should work, but okay. Well, this is a lovely night to be a lobby enthusiast. Hello, lost child. Have you seen this child? Call. I have nothing to say about that lost child. I'm not a Oh, I can go outside. But only just barely. Oh! <laughs> Oh god, sorry, I was not playing with the doors. <laughs> Welcome in! Welcome to the 82 Luby Lobby, how you doing? Love the tie. Darkiplier! Alan Alonzo. Peace. Hello friend, I stayed here this morning. I'm sleepy. Can I go to my room? Just a second, sir. Alan Alonzo. Don't know how I know your name. Alan Alonzo. Yes, you can go right up. Thank you. And good night. You too, sir. You have a good one. You take care of yourselves. Thank you for staying at the 82 Luby Lobby. I'm not following you. I can't follow you. I would never follow you. I'm not allowed up where the guests are. Oh, oh, another guest! Another guest! Hello. My name is Markiplier. Welcome to the 82 Luby Lobby. How are you doing? Ah! You were just cutting down trees, were you not? Congratulations, thank you very much for choosing us to be your place of stay. Your face is terrifying. Hi? Hey man, I want to go to my room soon. I'm Scott. Just a second. Scott T. Um, how do I say this, Scott? Uh, Scottman, Scotty boy. Your name is not on the list, I'm sorry. Go f You're lucky. You're very lucky. You're very lucky. Where are you? Why are you? Well, hello? They need to fix the elevator soon. Yeah, that would be nice, but also why is this happening? I can't even call the elevator anymore. Okay, well, so far so good. Oh, I can go in. Oh, oh, hey, wow, hey! Oh no, wait a minute. I didn't want to go in the... Hmm. Oh my god. I think I'm going crazy, working a bit too hard. You know what? You're right. But so long as I'm in charge of the lobby... What is wrong with your body? Hi. 
Hi, Josh. Can I go to my... Am I Josh? I don't know. I'm too tired. Hello, Mr. Salzano. Just a minute. Puck skill Salzano. All right. Go on up. Good night and good work, friend. Thanks, pal. Sorry about the comments on your wonderful physique. I more said it like, what is wrong? What is... Oh, wrong with your body and the way that everyone else's body is wrong. And yours is perfect. What? What? Wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, whoa, whoa, hey, 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 who's here? Hey, hey, hey. You guys saw that, right? There was somebody in the camera and. Hi. Okay, um, am I just. Hi, what? Hmm, that, there's a bit of a problem there. I gotta get the phone. Ha. Ah. Hello. Hotel 616, Josh, how can I help you? Good night, Josh. This is Detective Hoffman. I'm gonna alert you to a murderer on the loose. Good night, Detective. A killer. <laughs> Good night. Killer on the loose? We're going to all the hotels in the area. He's a dangerous guy. The victims are all children. My God. Can you tell me more about him? We have a description of the suspect, a tall, bald, bearded man. My God, can you tell me more about him? We have a description of the suspect, a tall, bald, bearded man. Thanks for the warning, detective. Can, can you, you tell me more about him? him? I'll keep an eye out. Thanks for your attention, Josh. Good night. How did I say my name? I did, didn't I? Well, um, again, this is strange right here. That's, that's, that's strange. Anyway, a tall, bearded man. Oh, good. I'm in the elevator. <laughs> Definitely nothing scary about this. Okay. Nothing scary at all. I think I'm going crazy. I'm working too hard. What? Why? Why do I think that? What? what crazy why? Crazy why? Crazy why? Why crazy? That crazy? like that. I don't like this elevator. I don't like the elevator at all. I don't like this elevator. I don't like you. None. Don't like you. Why? Stop. What are you doing? Oh my god, I'm gonna need to go, Josh. If anyone looks for me, let me know. Why would people look for you? You're not a tall bearded bald man. Oh my god. Who do we know that's tall, bearded, and bald? The notorious third host of the Distractable Podcast. I don't want to name names, but Lixian, pull up a photo of a Mr. Wade Barnes. Hmm. Awfully suspicious, don't you think? <laughs> maybe it's just a coincidence, or maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, but probably okay. Anywho. Oh, gone are we? Interesting. I guess I'll just pop a squat. Right. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll bite. I'll bite. I'll bite. I'll bite. I'll bite. Anything for me over here? No. Just a normal ass elevator. Son of a bitch. Okay. You gonna play with my feelings? Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Are you tall and bald? Are you tall and bald? Well, you're the person from the picture. You're the person from the picture. <gasps> you're the missing person from the picture. You're the missing picture person. Why? Are you? Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, 
All right, I'm not gonna pay that any mind. Oh no, Mr. Vasquez! Oh no! Oh no! Oh God! Hi. I'm freaking out. Okay, I'm just gonna sit. Everything is fine. I didn't see anything strange. I didn't see anything strange at all. Nothing strange happened. I didn't see a dead child in the elevator. And that dead child didn't guide me down a hallway. And I certainly didn't see Mr. Vasquez strangling that very child who was dead in the room in front of me. And then I wasn't magically transported back down to the lobby, the Luby lobby of the Hotel 616. And now I'm just sitting here. Or I was, and have been, and currently am, and nothing weird is happening. <laughs> Should I go upstairs? Check out? Nope. Salzano matches the killer's characteristics. I'll notify the police. Will I? Will I notify the police? Detective Osman, how can I help you? Hi, Detective. This is Josh from the front desk at Hotel 616. Hi, Josh. Do you have something important for me? There's a guest here who matches the characteristics of the assassin. <laughs> he has just left the hotel. Thanks for the info. I'll send a friend over to check it out. A friend? A friend. You'll send your friend. Not a- not another police officer you're gonna send your friend. <gasps> Act cool! Hey, what is up, Mr. whatever your name was? <laughs> if it isn't my favorite patron, here at the Luby Lobby, Salzano. Did something happen, Josh? You look very nervous. Oh, no, buddy. It's okay. How was your walk? Invigorating. But are you sure it's okay? You're sweating. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm just tired. I think you're hiding something. Aren't we friends? I'm not hiding anything. I already told you. Everything is fine. Stop prying. It's my privacy. Shut up. You're a weirdo. Um. Oh. Uh. Uh. Hey. All right. Shit, that was close. He is very suspicious. He is very suspicious. What's the dripping? Why is there so much of dripping? Oh no. Well, that's not good. Blood is dripping from the top of the elevator. Okay, well this, uh, this oh no. Oh no. Oh boy, that's, um, man, I feel like I should have an opinion about that. My God, this scene will never get out of my head. So, uh, what, what do I, what do I do about, what do I, what, what do I do about that? Should I leave? I feel like I should leave. I feel like leaving is a good idea. Um. Well, whenever that friend wants to get here, it would be super chill. Okay. Oh, oh, hey, oh! Well, um... That got me. Hopefully it uh, didn't get you. If you didn't get got, let me know down in the comments below. That way we can together know who was not got and who was got. If you got got, then say you got got in the comments. And if you didn't get got, say I didn't get got. No one got me. I was never got in the first place. Stop asking if I was got in those exact words. That way we'll know for sure who was and was not got. Thank you for all being here with me as I got got. And of course, given that I got got, I will comment that I got got. 
If you want more scary games, they're linked in the description below. If you want to follow the description of the murderer, you can find a Mr. Wade Barnes on the Distractable Podcast, available through the link in the description below. Thank you. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!